O oh God, we ask that you watch over us, your servants, as we walk in the love of your name through the island of Manhattan. Be for us our companion on the walk. The walk is hard, you know, it's tiring, but you're doing it for God. It's a great Lenten activity because we are praying, we are walking, it's fun, but it's also spiritual at the same time. Walking from the top of Manhattan to the south of Manhattan, literally, for about 13 and a half to about 14 miles. We're starting off from Mother Cabrini again, and we're going to be going to Corpus Christi Church, as well as uh, the Church of St. Joseph down in the village, as well as the Church of St. Andrew near the uh, courthouses, and we'll end off with the closing mass at the shrine of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. Each pilgrimage I've been on, there's been something in particular that that I've, I've really just wanted to show my gratitude to him. I'm thankful for my son. He's in the military, he's in the Navy. Right now his assignment is, is one that's stateside. So I, I carry the gratitude for that in my heart and I also carry his classmates and the, the men and women that they're leading um, in their missions around the world. I want to wish you a very beautiful pilgrimage, walking with the saints, especially with Mother Cabrini who start walking from here. We try to give them the spirit of Mother Cabrini, how she was, how she wanted the young people to be, because she loved the young people, Mother Cabrini. She was always thinking of them and trying to give them the best. It's a pilgrimage with the Lord in New York, big city, big apple, and very glad, very pleased to join this uh, pilgrimage. It's a really good way of uh, meditating on this time of Lent and learning um, about our American saints. A uh, good way of spending time also with our friends and just praying along the way. It's a marvelous walk with God from uh, up a, a Mother Cabrini down to Lower Manhattan and it's a beautiful day. Just to be close to God, we decided that would be a wonderful way to spend a Saturday. Thomas Merton, the great American spiritual writer, was baptized in our church in November of 1938. I am so pleased that the young adults chose this particular church. First of all, because I think Merton is an important person for them to know. Also, it's interesting for them to see how a church in a, a very academic and ecumenical neighborhood can interact with all of the other groups and has for all of its existence. I learned a lot about the history of some of these churches, something I didn't know, and it definitely did interest me in trying to find out more, not just about the faith, but also about you know the history of the archdiocese and of the Catholic Church in general. You were not on a hike, you were not on a, uh, a walk, you were on a pilgrimage. And I think that word is a very powerful and beautiful word. All life is a pilgrimage, uh, from the beginning of our baptism to the last dying day that we have. And if we're on a pilgrimage with the Lord, it's a great, great time. And what these young people did today was a, a mini uh, view of the, their whole life.